Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering The Freak. He made his first appearance in Spawn, issue number 33, that was released in July 1995. His real name is Brian Kobidzi, and he's a psychotic, slim-framed human male that has brown eyes and long, scraggly gray hair. Now, when The Freak is in a delirious state, he has very unstable characteristics. Regularly espousing delusions and occasionally having psychotic outbursts of laughter and other emotions. He also seems to exhibit advanced hand-to-hand -hand combat skills apparently due to what some would call quote-unquote crazy strength. Slightly similar to the Joker of DC Comics. Now when the freak is empowered by Malboja, who happens to be one of the most powerful beings of hell, this psychotic New Yorker's countenance changes, developing glowing green eyes, fangs, and claws. Not to mention that he then develops low-level superhuman strength, durability, and speed, which is enhanced due to him being able to teleport and absorb energy from others. Now, Brian's mental illness stemmed from the fact that his wife told him she didn't want children. This would cause his mind to break and he would be committed to an asylum, but he would later escape and establish himself a mansion in the sewers under New York City. He would later meet Spawn after the anti-hero saved him from a group of thugs in the sewers. And he would tell his rescuer a story about his family being killed by a man named Dr. Delirium. Going on to say that when he went to get revenge years ago, that he was taken down by Delirium's guards and then subject to experiments that would drive most men crazy. Brian would say that he was tough though and that he escaped and this is what helped him become the enhanced fighter that he is. Spawn would ultimately agree to help him get revenge with the freak actually succeeding in taking out the doctor by throwing him out a window. However, we'd come to see that during this exact same time, Mrs. Kobixi was called into the Federal Health Services Department due to her husband, Mr. Brian Kobixi, having escaped again. And not surprisingly, they weren't able to get in touch with Dr. DeLorean, his therapist. The freak was obviously insane, and he had actually convinced Spawn to help him do this. We would later see the freak order his fellow bum, John Leakley, to cause trouble in the alleys planning to blame a robbery on a rival bum. But John would be confronted by Spawn, who was surprisingly killed by John, which was made possible by them being in a small patch of heaven on Earth called the Dead Zone, wherein Spawn's powers were nullified. But when John told the Freak what he had done, he was killed by the Freak for not exactly obeying his orders, doing nothing more and nothing less. The Freak stabbing John through the eye, which unexpectedly made him drop the necroplasm bag that he had brought to prove that he had killed Spawn. This small, unnoticed event would lead to Eddie Beckett coming across this necroplasm and being transformed into the heap. Additionally, Spawn's murder sparked a war between Spawn's bum supporters and those that were against him. But Spawn's body would be retrieved from the dead zone by Sam Burke and Twitch Williams, which allowed the anti-hero to return to life and enact vengeance upon the freak. With Spawn manifesting the Freak's inner evils as a tangible form of worms and other insects. These creatures of the night then suffocating and consuming him as they try to re-enter him. But this wouldn't be the end of the Freak, with us seeing him later in hell laughing crazily as Spawn confronts Malboja. And after the Freak is displayed in several other psychotic episodes in hell, just so we can remember that he's still insane, we'd later see him return as a being fully possessed by Malboja. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give The Freak a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.